now that this symbol is added to the library, we can actually add some, and um, we can actually add it to the symbol as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So right click, symbol, right click, symbol, open symbol. That's one way of opening it. However, we can also go to the library manager and then the symbol manager. And as you can see, I'm already filtering. So my new drive already popped up over here. So I can double click it over here. And here is the symbol I've just created. I've done a separate video on this, on how to create and modify a symbol. So if you haven't seen that, just jump back a couple of videos. I'm just gonna move this outside of my symbol for a bit. Now what we want to do here is we want to add our tags here. So as soon as we add or connect lines or wires to the symbol, it will automatically come up with a tag. So to do that, we're going to right click on attributes and left click on insert attribute. Underneath attribute management, we're going to go to the connection point and then Underneath my first connection point, I'm going to select a tag. Then over here, you can see that we've got connection two, four, and six. So I'm going to do, you can do multiple select as well. Two, four, and six. Once I click on OK, you can see that it automatically already gives me the right spacing. If it doesn't do this for you, we can actually change the justification, the height, and how much it's rotated. But very important here as well, the actual spacing. Okay, so if the spacing is not correct the first time you place it, you just change the values down here. If I change this to 2.5, you will actually see what happens. Okay, so we change this back to 5. And we place the last three. Once we've done placing the marks, we can simply just go ahead and make this a bit smaller. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, set the insertion point, which is also very important once you want to insert the symbol. So left click on insertion point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here this first um, mark over here and I'm just going to turn on the snap changes to our usual standard and we can actually select this point over there why am I selecting this point? Because then we can click the first wire and it will automatically align the points. Now, once we're done um, creating the insertion point, we can simply just close this off and save the changes. Now that we've added the actual symbol, we're also going to add or link that to a manufacturer part. So what we can do is we can actually double click on the symbol that we've just created, left click on manufacturer part and circuits, and then left click on add manually. We can give the part a name. manufacturer and simply click on OK. We can select only for this component 
which will mean that this manufacture data will only be used for that component that we've created, but we are going to add this to our catalog. So select the top option. It will then be available in all the projects. Okay. The last thing that we need to do is just check if our symbol works. So I'm going to select this one here and I'm going to delete it. We will go to insert symbol other symbol and look for the drive that you've just created. Remember we set the insertion point to be on the first wire. So I'm going to select the first wire, give it a name, go to new manufacturer part and circuits, hit search, and search for the manufacturer or the part that you've just created. Here it is. I'm gonna add that to my part. Hit select and click on OK. And there you have it. The terminal marks are properly aligned and we've just inserted our new created symbol using a black box. Thank you for watching guys.